There you go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Y'all come on in here. You was already in here. Mm. It's still hot. Honey, I was not trying to buy nothing out today. You know, I haven't been. You know, I've just making, been making everything at home. Got to be good stewards over your finances. How are you guys? I love you with the love of the Lord. This is a beautiful day that he has made. Today is Saturday. I believe it's November 13th. Yes, because tomorrow is my baby's girl's birthday. She'll be 19 years old. My God. And she's with me. My God. I thank you. Woo. Hallelujah. Shout out to all the mothers who knows that feeling that I just felt. Woo. She home. She a virgin. She love God. She's obedient. She's a good girl. You know, and she is herself. I'm not in control of her. I'm not a, a a dogmatic influence over her. Okay? I let her be her, but she knows the rules and regulations, but she has said to herself, she's not ready to fly just yet. But I thank God she's with me and she is loved and provided for and she's a good person in heart and in attitude. So I said, I'll treat you to get your feet done, sugar. And then I said, I'll treat you to get your nails done, but only get a manicure because you got to keep the rest up. Got to teach the kids. Got to teach them. <laughs> mm. I've been screaming. In the house. Oh, I just heard that. Hey. 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 I got a word. I got a word. I got a word. All right, here we go. Right into the word. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Today is a special a special message. Hallelujah. And I thank you for today. Saturday is beautiful. I thank you for everything. I thank you for your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, you are worthy to be praised. You are so awesome. And you know how I feel right now. And I'm not going to hide it. But you know I love you. And thank you so much for looking out for me on this morning. Y'all, in Jesus' mighty name, let this word, Father, as much as it bless me to see your love for me. God, I just decree and declare that it, that it blesses your people, every viewer, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the devil is a liar and he is a defeated foe. In Jesus' name, and the word of God be blessed in your life and richly bless you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. What are we talking about today? <laughs> Y'all listen, I'm sorry. Nothing is formal, but we're going to keep, we're going to stay focused. God wants us to rest. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's just say. I had a dream. I've been dreaming. I've been dreaming all this week. Y'all want to see my eyes? I know y'all probably want to do it, but the sun is bothering me, y'all. So take a peek. So this, um, um, I had, I, the Lord has been dealing with me. My God, my God. Okay. Okay. Welcome to prophetic encouragement. I'm sorry to the newcomers watch the other videos and you'll get to know me by and by and by i may not always do an introduction but my my regular supporters and subscribers that are connected here for such a time as this until the lord released them they know your good girl tremaine my name is tremaine welcome to prophetic encouragement please subscribe to this channel you are not by here by chance but you are here by divine god's plan and it is safe here and um yeah uh what is that? Is that a fly? Mm. I think that's a little net. All right. <laughs> and um, um, subscribe, like, comment. I try my best to, to comment to everybody. I really do it. I mean what I say. And I come with this spirit of love and meekness. Um, and thumbs up the video. That's it. I'm not. I'm not new to this, but I'm going to be true to this, okay? And uh, let me see, Lord, is there anything else? No. So, okay, let's let's go. We're not going to be long. We're not going to be long. All right, let's go. So this morning, um, so first of all, 
to explain what happened before. I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all. The sun. I'm by the beach, y'all. I'm down here by the beach. And so the sun is getting me. So, um, the Lord has been dealing with me and the devil has been interfering. I, I won't even bring all that up because I don't even know how to bring that up. But, um, you got to be careful for what you say because, you know, I may have some loved ones watching as well. So, I, you know, I just don't want to offend no one. Um... So, I'm sleeping. At one part of in my sleep, I saw a, a heart sign and Gary. And I saw a cafe. A Gary Cafe. Never heard of it. I don't even think about that thing now. I, I, I can't believe I saw that. I saw it on a chalkboard. When the chalkboard was trimmed in a wooden frame... A brown wooden frame, nice white tan wooden oak oak wood, and it was a chalkboard, but it was written in chalk. And I tried my best to mimic on my hand. And when I was up, I think I was up like four in the morning, trying to draw that thing, or three or five in the morning. I was trying to draw that thing right, and I was doodling, 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 doodling. Okay, Do doodling, um, on the on my phone. And then I tried to upload it. And then the thing said, oh, it's too large. I was like, oh, the devil is a lie. This thing ain't never gave me no problems before. And I was going to throw the phone on the side and go to sleep. But, the, you know, I felt the press to go ahead and do it. And then I, I don't know who it was for. So, and then, <laughs> Whitney, Whitney, she came in. And um, another person, I think KJ Gary, then another person, I'm not sure. They said that. It resonated with them as far as I believe Whitney was in Las Vegas and she saw or heard of um, a Gary Cafe. Um, she couldn't even believe it herself. And then another person said that was a, a confirmation for them. Now in the dream, I heard I, it was it was more so like a. It looked like it was a cafe like like a bartender cafe like but she was it was like an espresso drink sitting area and the girl i don't know i can't i can't try i don't want to make anything up but it looked like i heard the girl saying you better tell him that he better get come to the cafe or you better tell gary to get to the cafe or uh, i think I, and i was like gary you better get to the cafe or it's some something is gonna happen at a Gary Cafe. Like love is gonna come. I don't know. Or a Gary is going to find love. Whether it's a girl or a boy. But I don't know. I don't know. All I know, I saw a heart sign and I saw Gary and I saw a cafe. Now it could be a person named Caf Gary going to a cafe. But then come to find out, I went to Googling it too. I was like, oh, shoot, <laughs> shoot. And it actually was a Gary Cafe around the world, a few of them. So that right there. Other things the Lord has been showing me, every time the Lord has been showing me stuff, the devil has really been trying to, um, I was attacked in my childhood bathroom and I was running towards my childhood bathroom. I was being attacked by a man and um, I know this man. Um, and I knew it was the devil because the devil always put on a form of people that, um, you may know, what, you know, anyway. So, um, and when I went into my childhood bathroom and I shut the door, he, his spirit in red, his whole face and his shirt, everything was red. And, and he, and he swooped down. And when he swooped down, he swooped down under the, um, under the door the door was shut and his whole spirit came like a red smoke under the door and then it appeared up into me and when i turned around and then when he started punching me in my face so it was domestic violence and um i'm not even gonna go any further than that and i knew that the devil was attacking me in my dream because he did not want me to see um what the lord was showing me but that's all right because god still is dealing with me and letting me the devil is a the devil is attacking my dreams because because god i hear you glory to god because god is grooming the prophetic in me and the gary cafe 
he allowed uh, Whitney to confirm it. He allowed the other person to confirm it to let me know I ain't hallucinating. I ain't seeing just seeing anything. And um, so I thank God. So God is real. Sh God is shot. I hear the Holy Spirit is talking to me right now so loud and clear in his ear and in this ear. I hear it. He's sh the Lord is sharpening my prophetic gift. Thank you. And I, I thank you for looking out for me because I never want to come on here and be forced and be wrong. Um, I know we can be in error. I know that. I know the mistakes of a prophet. Prophet. But I never want to come on here in my flesh for views and for likes. But um, anyway, and we can make mistakes as a prophet. Trust me, we can be off at times. I'm not trying to, you know, say we got to be perfect. But um, God knows my heart. I don't play because, honey, you were given an account out here leading the sheep astray. Okay? Because even if you hear something from God, it ain't supposed to be said all the time either. Okay? I listen, I know. Are you on gear? I ain't, I ain't going nobody's hell. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry. So um, the Lord is sharpening my prophetic anointing and prophetic gift. And, um, and I thank him for that because I've been praying for this. Um, and, um, he's letting me know, like, I'm like the prophet Je Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Or is it Zechariah? I think it's Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all, this is, this camera is real. This is, and my foot was itching. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm thinking. But um, I forgot. I don't know. I, I think he told the young man, to, when you look at the fig tree, I think it's um, Jeremiah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anyway, the dream. I'm super excited. Okay, to the point. God gave me. Now, I know this for a fact, and I'm not going to be ashamed to say it. The Lord gave me for the first time ever, for the first time ever in my sleep, two scriptures one for y'all, one for me. Well, both of them for me. <laughs> but one for y'all. So he gave me for myself to read um, Philemon. Philemon. Hallelujah. Philemon. So he gave me Philemon. Y'all know what that is. Right? He gave me that. Thank you, Lord. So he gave me Philemon. And how he did it was he used Apostle Matthew Stevenson. I can't say everything about the dream because it was uh, so much else stuff going on in the dream as well. But Apostle, Apostle Matthew Stevenson came over to me and, you know, he's already sharp. You know, he's already he's a warrior and a, he's an apostle. He comes to tear down and build up and establish. Right. Um, he came over. He was like, Jermaine, you don't know the word. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I do. I do. He, he was like, read filament. And I'm and and in the, the Bible, I'm in my Bible, and I'm looking. And every time I get to the part where I know Philemon was right there, the, everything was white. The devil was making the my my Bible page disappear. And I was like, the blood of Jesus. Um, and I was feeling so bad. And he's like, when I come back, you better have started it. It was like a class. He said, you got to read this. It's for you, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to definitely be studying this when I get finished with y'all. I know she's still in there getting her feet and her nails done. But the other scripture then the Lord gave me, I heard him say, Hebrews 4 and 5. Hebrews 4 and 5. And I jumped up. I was like, oh my God, I remember you told me that. Oh my God. You know, so I woke up. And I'm screaming in the house today. My kids is like, mommy, what's wrong with you? And I'm excited. And I was like, I got a word. Okay. And um, where is this thing at? Okay. Turn it. All right. Yeah. All right. So thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 4 and 5. Thank you, God. All right. So. Philemon, I'm going to read. Now, mind you, I've never, I don't believe I've ever read Philemon. I don't believe I have. If I did, I, I don't know nothing about it. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Um, Hebrews 4, I, I saw it in my sleep and I heard it when I got up, when I was recording the other message, which by the way, you guys, the message, the special message, the song that he gave me was for y'all because I've been asking and I know that there's so much I want to say God everything I ask God for he is doing it I said Lord I want a divine word I want a divine song for your people I don't want to be on here out here 
um, uh, uh, digging up stuff from uh, from my flesh, okay? And he's doing it. He's doing it. I hear you know how um, Peter Pan and uh, in the movie and um, the little boy was in, Peter Pan was imaginary and he was like, he's doing it, Peter. He's doing it. And they made all that colorful food come alive. Was that Robin Robin Williams? I believe in the movie. Anyway, I know y'all like this girl. Um, glory to God. Can we just let our head down real quick? Okay, Lord, where we at? So, this is how I feel. The Jubilee of the Lord. He's doing it through me, y'all. Y'all are watching the making of what God has put on the inside of me. He's making me. And I'm letting y'all see this. I don't even have to do that. Of course, I know. But, I, you know, I'm not ashamed. And thank you for your time and all that stuff. Um, uh, 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 like the video, like the video, like the video. Uh, so, now... He, he said he was four and five. So I was geek. I was like, let me see what this is. Because this better be right. Because don't be coming in here in your flesh. And sure enough, it was. Here we go. Hebrews four and five. Glory to God. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember reading this. I know about Hebrews a little bit. A little bit. I'm being honest. But um, I don't remember this. But when I turn to it, I'm reading the New Translation Living Bible first. It says, the promise of rest. Hey! So I said, Lord, what are you saying? What are you saying, Jesus? Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in whose who heard it. And remember, and if you watch the other video, what he said to me this morning, he said, for without faith. I didn't even know where that came from. Of, of course, it, I mean, it, I didn't, I didn't, first of all, when I woke up, I was asleep. If you listen to the first part of the song, the two verses, I was dead asleep. But I got up and cleared my voice and I started to sing it out. And then I just sat up on the bed and I started to flow. And he said, for without faith, it is impossible to please me, right? He also said, um, the just shall live by faith. What are you saying, woman of God? I'm saying, for the promises of God, you have to mix your faith with it. And he gave me Hebrews 4. I ain't never read this before like this. I mean, I have to say, I, I, I don't believe, I, I don't remember reading this. I'm not going to lie about that. But I'm excited about it today because it's confirmation. And it's a divine word from the Lord. And I wrote it down in my journal because these are the first two scriptures ever, ever, ever God has given to me in my sleep. And this is a moment for me. All right. So what do he say right here? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them. Mm. Not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. Mm. For, ooh, that, oh, oh, glory. Hallelujah. For what you heard, you heard about the promises of God, right? Mm -hmm. But then it, you didn't use your faith with it. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It didn't profit you. The words you heard. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. All these prophetic channels, all these prophetic books, all these prophetic songs, all these prophetic messages, all these one-on-one -on -one coachings, all these one-on-one -on -one sessions. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Yes, God. Yes, and even my channel. I said all, all in the entire world, across the world. Everything that you are hearing and listening and reading and studying from. It did not profit. That's why you're mad. That's why you're angry. But guess what? It didn't profit. Because you didn't mix faith with it. I can't lie. This is the divine word. I ain't never read this part before in Hebrews. Okay? I did a lot of Hebrews 12. All right. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way, oh God. Encourage your people. I'm not beating you up, but the Lord, I'm going to hear what the whatever I hear the Lord say, I'm going to say it. 
Thank you, Jesus. Why I ain't come yet? Why my kingdom spouse didn't come yet? Why the job didn't come yet? Why the healing didn't come yet? Why my breakthrough didn't come yet? Why my ministry didn't start yet? Why? 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 Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because you did not mix faith with it. So none of that profit you. You ain't able to enter and rest in him. In that secret place. Resting in God with the word that you got. Right? You can't get in here. Because you didn't apply faith to it. You didn't apply faith to it and let go and stop looking back. Stop peeking and turning and, and all that stuff. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. The third verse. For we, for who, for we who have believed do enter that rest as he has said. So I swore in my wrath. They shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundations of the world. Mm, mm, mm. For he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in this place, they shall not enter my rest. God had got very vexed with them, right? Because they were in the wilderness and complaining. Instead of standing on the word of God. Doing what they needed to do. Right? Hallelujah. Applying faith to everything he has told them. So that they can enter into the promise of rest. Since therefore it remains that some must enter it. And those to whom it was first preached did not enter because of disobedience. Again, he designate a certain day saying in David. Today after such a long time as it is, it has been said. Hallelujah. Today if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Glory to God. For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not afterward have spoken another day. There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from works as God did from his. Glory to God. So I said, God, what are you saying, Lord? He just wants you to know that the promises... That he has told you regarding everything concerning your heart's desire that you've allowed him to put in there. Okay, let's be clear. After he gave you the right desires to desire that he worked on your heart in your wilderness season. Let it go. Take your hands off of it. Keep on going in the Lord. And rest into into they could not he got upset with them they didn't have access everything that he told them everything that pro everything it didn't profit them nothing because they kept uh they, they they didn't apply faith they didn't believe basically what he say right here for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them but the word which they heard did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. Point blank period. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go here. Thank you, Jesus. I love the message Bible. Glory to God. I'm, I'm reading from my um, computer here. So. Thank you, Lord. For as long then as the promise of resting in him pulls on to God's goals for us. For as long then as the promise of resting in him. Resting in him. Pulls us on to pull us onto God's goals, goal G O A L for us, my God, 
we need to be careful that we are not disqualified. Oh, baby. Glory to God. What is God saying? Don't be a bugaboo. I'm trying to find a human. Holy Spirit, you help me speak to me, Lord. Don't get on his nerve like these people did. Don't be a bugaboo. Rest in God. Hallelujah. We receive the same promises. This is the message Bible. We receive the same promises as those in the wilderness. But the promises did not do them a bit of good because they did not receive the promises with faith. Hey! Glory. Hallelujah. God, I praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. If we believe, though, we will experience the state of resting. If you believe, you will experience the state of resting. So because you don't believe, oh, glory to God. This is why you keep looking over your shoulder. This is why you keep putting your hands in and messing in God's business and the view gets cloudy. And I have been there and he has just delivered me out. This goes for all of us. And I can truly tell you this day. And this, and I'm going to be honest, I was very relaxed in my other video and it didn't upload and I had messed up and I deleted the other video, but I did sing the song, Luther Vandross song that night, but the Lord did not allow me, I believe to upload that first, that morning. Cause I was rushing to work and you should have heard me yelling at the people in the traffic. Plus somebody almost hit my car and I was trying to talk to y'all. And, um, what I was saying in that video was I desire the promises of God. I already know. He has the promises for me, but I no longer am anxious about it. I'm such in a place that I'm just so peaceful. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Even until uh, love again. Honey, I'm in a content place. I said, Lord, I think you better hurry up because I'm losing interest. I'm losing a, I'm losing like the aha of the prodigal you know what i mean like i desire marriage but when i tell you that thing ain't circling around me taking up my day when i tell you that thing ain't keeping me in in a daze when i tell you that thing ain't keeping me up at night when i tell you that thing ain't keeping my pillow sweat and crying when i tell you that thing ain't making me eat myself a frenzy and gaining weight like i don't know what when i tell you i have made up in my mind to truly let it go day by day, day by day, day by day. I apply my faith to my actions for with um, faith without works is dead. So I make sure that my actions lined up with my faith. As loud as I scream, my actions has to be louder, loud it enough. So I'm at a point right now. If a dude want to take me out, I don't know how to act. Cause I'm like, I'm so content. I don't know who need to hear that. And I'm if I'm being transparent too much again, for excuse me. Okay? Oh, this thing done blacked out. Let me go. Glory to God. I'm not telling you to get to where I am. But I'm telling you what the word is saying. God got upset. He got tired. Because dumb dumb. I ain't say dumb. I said dumb dumb. He, you ought to know. This is, oh, Glory. He said, my, my people, you shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Stop screaming that you are the righteousness of God. Stop screaming. And I'm not, I'm, don't, yeah. Stop allowing the devil and your flesh. Uh-huh. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Stop allowing the devil to make you feel like the promises of God is so far away, so not obtainable, never going to happen in your lifetime. Because at some point, you may just grieve God and you won't see it. As, as, as honey, listen, as real as this Bible is. Oh, yes. You just live your life with that little agony in your heart. And you're going to see Jesus when it's time for you to go. This may be a hard word. And I know, you, if, if, honey, if, if, if it's making you feel some type of way, 
And I know it may, if it is, the, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing through the heart. Hallelujah. He gave me that today too. No, he gave me that on this week. And come to find out it's in the scripture. That's how I know the scripture was from God. He gave me that. I kept saying it in my spirit. I said, the word of God is sharper than any two. So I said, where did that come from? You know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a Bible reader like that. I'm not. But when I need to read the word and study right now, like I said, I'm on the book of Acts. And now he's leading me over into the book of Proverbs. And I'm not even talking about them, them two books to y'all. But this is where he's leading me at to talk to y'all. And this is what it is. Okay, let's hurry up. Lord, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. But if we do not have faith, remember that God said, Erasperated, I vow. They'll never get where they're going. Never be able to sit down and rest. If you don't have faith, you will never get married oh yes i said it come on the word of god is speaking if you don't have faith you will never get that job to pro promotion if you don't have faith that prodigal will never turn around to you if you do not have faith your body will not get healed because for without faith it is impossible to please the lord the judge shall live by faith we are in the world, but not of the world. We operate through faith. Faith that pleases God. And he wants you, uh-huh, you, sugar boo, you, sir, bro. He wants y'all to rest. He wants you to experience resting in him. And he set my life up so much, honey, I don't got to work on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God made that vow. Even though he finished it, his part, before the foundation of the world, therefore it is written, God rested on the seventh day, having completed his work. But in this other text, he says, they'll never be able to sit down and rest. So this promise has never has not been has not yet been fulfilled. Those earlier ones never did get to the promise of rest because they were disobedient. Please y'all don't miss y'all kingdom spouse from being disobedient. Please y'all don't miss y'all job opportunity, your healing, your health for being disobedient. Please don't miss the opportunity to be used by God for being disobedient. Please don't miss the opportunity to be a first time homeowner, to getting that car, to getting another car. Come on, having a house down by the beach, having a house across the water. What are you going to have? Whatever you want in God. Don't miss it because of disobedience. My God, obedience is better than sacrifice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Disobedience had made us detached from God. Disobedience was the sin that, 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 that cut us off from the biblical court from the Lord. Kicked us out of the garden. Adam and Eve, disobedience. Oh, they didn't, they didn't get to sit there and be in, in Eden. Look where we at. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God keeps renewing the promise and setting the date as today hey god keeps renewing the promise god keeps renewing the promise and setting the date as today just as he did in davis psalms centuries later than the original ever invitation today please listen do not turn a deaf ear glory to god hallelujah and so this is still a live promise the promise is still a live promise. I am reading in the New Testament. Keep that in mind too. Glory to God. Hebrews 4. Hallelujah. I'm on the 8th verse. And I'm reading in the Message Virgin Bible. And so this is still a live promise. It wasn't canceled at the time of Joshua. Otherwise, 
God would, wouldn't keep renewing the appointment for today, 2021. Understand the word of God in the revelation. Come on, Holy Spirit, teach this day. The promise of God. The arrival and rest is still there for God's people. Oh, glory. Arrive in the resting place in God and wait on him. Because your promise is being renewed. He will not let you down. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. That's the only way. That's the only way. You will see those things that he's promised you. And you got to have the faith, I hear you, on everything. All the needs. All the desires. If you lose faith on your job, you'll always be where you at. You may get that kingdom spouse, but you lost faith on that job. You ain't going to get that job. Everywhere, every area of your life. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God himself is at rest. And at the end of the journey, we surely rest with God. So let us keep it and eventually arrive at the place of rest, not drop out through some sort of disobedience. Glory, hallelujah. The 12th verse, God means what he says, what he says goes. His powerful word is sharp as a surgeon's scalpel, cutting through everything, whether doubt or defense. Oh, 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 oh. glory, hallelujah. I feel it in my stomach. I know I got some people that's gonna be like, she's doing too much. That's too much. That's I, I, I ain't receiving that. That ain't my word. Baby, that's called doubt. That's called defensive. So therefore, uh-huh, it's right there. That's why the word is cutting into you right now as we speak. Glory to God. Repent. Get in God and stay there. Because it ain't me, it's God. It's the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'll read it again. God meant what he says. Oh, come on. I hear you. Come on, Adam and Eve. You ate, you ate of that tree. Uh-huh. And you were disobedient. He meant what he said. And look what happened. God meant what he said. What he says goes. What he says goes. Why? Because God is a father. You up, Father God, I thank you. Father God, I praise you. We do it, Father God. Do it, God. Father, uh, Abba. Uh-huh. You forgot that he chastises those who he loves. We been there. We do it. Do not let the enemy deceive your flesh. Remember, he's a father all the way around. Not just for the good. Not just for the handout. But he's a father of chastising. He meant what he said. You a parent, you know. What did what, what, what I tell my son? What I told my son when I left him when I come get my daughter nails done? I said, you better not turn on this. You better not turn on that. You better not open up no door. You better not. When I call you, you better. You hear what I said? <laughs> you said, <laughs> come on, Jesus. Teach this thing, God. Glory to God. I don't care how long it is now. Y'all out here now with me. We in the deep. Come on, Peter. Walk on this wall. <laughs> hey, glory. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. God meant what he says. What he says go. His word is powerful. It is sharp as a surgeon's scalpel. Cutting through everything. 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 That's a comma right here. Get in the message Bible. Hebrews 4th chapter and the, I'm at the 12th verse right here. Cutting through everything, comma, everything, comma, everything, witchcraft, ha, 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 family generational curses, ha, 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 cutting through everything. Hi, cutting through everything. Hi, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Cutting through everything. Yes, God. Demonic prayers. Psychics. Running and paying your money. 
trying to know the hand of God, trying to pull on the wrong source, dibbling, dabbling to divination. God's word cuts through everything. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, the naysayers, the liars, the interferers. Ha, 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 ha. Destiny blockers, destiny blockers. He cuts through everything. I hear it. He cuts through everything. I got a word. Hey, hallelujah, Jesus. The word, hallelujah, cuts through everything. Sharper than a surgeon's scalpel. Woo! My God, you know a surgeon's scalpel is sharp. Honey, they tell you when you put that, that, that thing on you, you cut right open. Cutting through everything. The lies. The jealousy. The hatred. Hey! Cutting through everything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel God. Glory to God. Bless your name, Jesus. Cutting through everything. That's a comma right there. I didn't even get to the doubt and the defense. That's for you. Ooh, glory. Hey! 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 Glory to God. Put the word of God on it. That eviction notice. Put the word of God on it. That hospital bill. Your credit needs to be repaired. Put the word of God on it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Everything. Your hit, that sickness in your body. And then if you had to go to the doctor to get worked on, you need complete divine healing, right? Hey, cutting through everything. <laughs> cutting through everything. Hallelujah. Because God needs a body. Remember that you are on this earth for purpose, not just to be here ladder gadding in your own little will. You here for, he need a vessel. Who can I use today? <laughs> Who's up for me today? Who can I use for 30 minutes? Who can I use for 24 hours? Who can I use for, for, for one hour? Who can I use for a lifetime? Who can I use for a lifetime? Give me your body. Okay, you sick? I'm going to let you go through it. Put the word on it. Put some faith on it. Let me see how you handle this. Okay, guess what? 2000 and such and such and such. Today, the dime, this, the minute, the second. Heal. Cutting through everything. Hey. Cutting through everything. The word of God cutting through everything. Hey, hallelujah. It will be made manifest. Daily the promises are renewed, renewed, renewed over and over again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I know this thing is over, but it's all right. Okay. Yes, God. I'm having fun with this. And God is doing this. I know this is the Holy Spirit. My Savior unto thee. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Cutting through everything, comma, whether doubt or defense. You could doubt this message if you want to. Uh, that's on you. You could doubt. You could be offended. Defense. I'm defending. Defense. If you want to, comma, lying us, laying us open to listen and obey. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, it lays us open to listen and obey. That's what he said the word does. The word cutting through everything, whether doubt or defense, lying us open to listen and obey. <laughs> it cuts <laughs> your soul, that spirit, and it lays you open. That's why you can't, woo! That's why you got to get out that bed and go back to your wife. Glory, hallelujah. That's why you got to put that cigarette down. That's why you getting choked. Lays you open. The word of God lays you open. Hey, hey, hey. Glory, hallelujah. To listen and obey. It cuts through everything. That's why, yes, God, I praise you. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. That's why. You can't find no peace in sin. I hear that. Oh, yes. The word of God will find you and cut you open, cutting everything. You could be doubtful. You can be offended. But you will never find peace in sin. 
I don't know who that's for. That's for all of us. You will never find peace in sin. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing and no one can resist God's word. We can't get away from it, no matter what. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is finished. I've said what the Lord has said. All right, we out. Listen, this video is long. It's all right. Y'all watch it. Enjoy. To God be the glory. I'm about to go in here and check on my baby. Make sure she ain't running that tab up. <laughs> Today is her birthday. I'm sorry, tomorrow's her birthday. She's 19 years old. And the Lord is dealing with me with her. And um, I got some messages for you parents. It's coming. It's coming. I'm just so grateful. God is hearing me. He is with me. He is. I'm encouraged. I'm blessed. I'm being too transparent. I'm just showing y'all probably way too much. I've never thought that I would be in this place and be content and happy and focused. And um, <clears throat> I just thank him. God is good. I love you guys. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I think that's basically it. That's all that I have to share and say. Um, to God be the glory. Find this word to bear witness within your heart. You are my brother. You are my sister. And my job is to do what God says to do. My baby. Huh? Y'all already know. You better know. Your girl hate the devil. And you know I'm going to expose that Satan. That's why he coming for me. <laughs> he had my son to come in the kitchen on Friday morning when he went to school. And tell me he may not be here on Sunday. <laughs> my son is a bona fide prophet of the Lord. And the devil been trying to set anxiety and depression on him. But he's a bold faced liar. Because you got the right one, baby. You you trying to come on my baby? Yeah, he's a liar. And I know that ever since I said yes to the Lord, that the devil was gone. He didn't, the devil never wanted me to know who I was or to fulfill purpose. And he can come and try to do what he going to do. But, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cutting through everything. The word of God will cut through every, everything. Because I know my God is able. And baby, I'm resting. I'm resting in him. I'm not going to grieve God. I want all my promises. Okay? I want, I want, and if I don't get, now I didn't mess up. If I don't get, I, I, I want what I, he got left for me. He can create some new ones. He renewing promises every day. That's what he say, right? Okay? If I miss them, if I miss the mark. In, 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 in my in my teens, all right, it is what it is. In my twenties, it is what it is. But now I want I want what I want. I want what he got. I want what he got. The devil is a liar. I tell you, pray for me. The warfare is real, but my 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 warrior praises too. Hey. Hey. Cutting through everything. Hey hey yeah. Y'all. I love you guys. Ugh. So I'll see you guys later. I'm about to go in here. Check on my baby. See what she doing. And I know everything is going to be alright. Yes, Lord. I know she says she wants some crab legs tomorrow. I'm like, really, ma'am? You got that kind of faith? Yes, she does. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. You take care. You be blessed. And um, let me go check on my muffin. Let me see your toes. Oh, these are nice. 
they're so pretty. They look so pretty and clean. Look at my baby feet. Let me see your feet. I can't even see. There you go. Those are cute. <laughs> Happy birthday. I love you. How old are you going to be? 19. 19. 19, Lord. Oh, you got your nails done? Mine? They're yours? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Excuse me. They're hers. Let me see your nails. Oh, you got your nails done, sir? I know. That's right. Oh. They look like mommy's. Yeah. They look nice. I'm proud of you. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Bye.